there's nothing that makes you look sexier than when you rock a perfect pair of denim. That pair of jeans that you slip on, that look incredible, that feel amazing, and that make your booty look banging. But it doesn't matter how banging your booty is if you're wearing shoes that make you look like a dork. Gentlemen, today I'm going over a few shoes that you should never wear with jeans. Speaking of wearing, real quick, what do you think about my new leather jacket? It's kind of like a matte black racer jacket, super sexy. The fit is flawless. Gentlemen, the size that I'm wearing is a small. If you want to check this out, I'm going to link to it down below. It is from the company Thursday Boots. Yes, Thursday Boots not only make super sexy sneakers and boots, they now make bad ass sexy ass leather jackets. If you want to check it out, guys, I'm going to link to it down below. The first pair of shoes that you should never, ever, 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 ever under any circumstances rock with a pair of jeans, and that is running shoes. You know how I can tell that you have zero style like instantly? If I look down at your feet and you are rocking athletic shoes, shoes that are designed specifically for the gym, working out, or running. Personally, I feel like the athletic sneakers, even like the ultra boost and Yeezys, things like that, look a lot better with more athleisure clothing. Whether or not it's a pair of sexy ass joggers or shorts, it just doesn't look right in my opinion when you rock them with jeans. So get me wrong, there are some amazing sneakers that look incredible with jeans. I'm talking Jordans. Jordan 1s are honestly, in my opinion, the most sexy ass, bad ass, bad boy sneaker a guy can wear. Also, simple Chuck Taylors, not to mention Vans, Adidas, Puma. And like I've mentioned before guys, the best option in terms of sneakers that look amazing with denim are the leather minimal sneaks all right these both come from thursday boots if you want to check them out i'm going to link to them down below but what i'd like to show you real quick is the proper way to tie your sneaks most people do when it comes to tying their shoes or dress shoes is right there they make one loop and then they go over top of the other loop and and pull and what happens is those laces kind of lay a little bit cockeyed right and as you walk it's actually going to loosen up instead when you tie your shoes it starts the same make the loop but then instead of going over go underneath right and then pull it through and what you're going to have is a perfect bow that lays nicely across your shoes and actually isn't going to loosen as you walk. So the second type of shoe that you should never wear with jeans are black dress shoes. So in my opinion, guys, there's nothing worse than a shiny pair of black dress shoes with a pair of denim. It doesn't matter what else you're wearing. It looks horrible, in my opinion. A much better option are brown. Now, the one thing you need to understand, when it comes to dress shoes and dressing up jeans, if they are super shiny, you probably shouldn't wear them. The shinier the dress shoe, the worse it actually looks. It's an imbalance, right? If you're wearing slacks or a suit, you want your shoes to be shiny, that's fine. But when it comes to denim, it looks a lot better if you have more of a matte finish. Now, what I'd like to do is actually show you a few styles of dress shoes that look amazing with denim. The simple, clean loafer. A simple, clean brown loafer looks incredible with a pair of denim. You can rock socks or you could go sockless. If you want to do some type of little like metal detail, that's fine. Another option is the tassel loafer. Tassel loafers look great with denim. The single monk strap is also another incredible option. And what I love about this shoe specifically, it's that it's got a little bit of detail around the toe. It's not over the top, but another option that you could go with that looks incredible with denim are wingtips, whether or not it's double monk or a slip on loafer or even a lace up. The brown brogued wingtip is an incredible option when paired with denim, whether or not it's a monk strap, a double monk, or even a lace up. This looks incredible. Now, this is a wingtip because of that little pattern on the front, right? That is a leather detail that in my opinion looks super classic, clean, and sexy. Broguing is simply referring to these little details or patterns of popped out leather. And here's an example of a brogued wingtip boot. All right, this one is from Thursdays. I just got it. It just landed, guys. This is honestly, quite possibly, the sexiest boot I've ever seen. Seriously, it's <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I, I love boots, um, which brings me to boots, right? The third shoe you should never, ever, 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 ever wear with denim, or actually there are a few boots that you should never wear with denim. Number one is cowboy boots. Now you're like, wait a second, cowboy, and here's the thing. If you are rocking slim fit or standard fit jeans, cowboy boots are not gonna work with them. 
were biker boots. And the reason is because of the opening, right? The opening is just too big. And if you're wearing a tapered pair of denim, it's not gonna fall right, right? These boots, cowboy boots also, need to be rocked with a boot cut jean or at least a straight fit jean, all right? But if you're wearing anything that is slightly tapered, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be too tight around the top of the boot. Any boot that's too big and bulky and chunky looks a little bit rough in my opinion. What I would recommend, if you want a boot that looks a little bit more like rugged, something like this. It is the Major by Thursday Boots. It's got a very nice toe, it's a cap toe, but it also has a zipper on the side to make it easier to slip on. The next style of boot that you should avoid at all costs when it comes to pairing with jeans, or wearing for that matter, is anything that is too overly pointy. The pointy boots used to be popular. In my opinion, it's kind of a little bit dated. People aren't rocking super pointy shoes or boots anymore. Instead, if you're looking for a boot that's clean and sexy, Look for something like this, all right? Notice the toe box. It's not quite as dramatic in terms of a point. It's simple, clean, and perfect. This is one of my favorite boots that Thursday makes. It's called the Cavalier. It's a Chelsea boot. This one is a distressed brown. It's got a little bit of distressing and patina on the toe. This boot, in my opinion, is absolute casual denim wearing perfection. It's a brown suede, little bit of distressing. It's a little bit dressier and a little bit more refined than something like this, all right? Another thing Thursday Chelsea boot that I love. The sole is a little bit more rugged, a little bit more lug. When I saw these, I'm like, all right, laces? Yeah, I can do laces for something this sexy. And when I saw these, I was like, all right, I'm envisioning the outfit, right? Some denim, little lightweight sweater, a pea coat, right? Maybe a bomber jacket. These things are perfection. Guys, if you are in the market for a pair of boots, now is the time, now is the season, and Thursday Boots is the company you should be buying them from. Super premium, high quality, direct to the consumer, which means that they can offer you a premium product for less than you're gonna go into retail to buy something equal in terms of quality. Guys, it doesn't get any better than Thursday Boots in terms of quality, in terms of price. They use the premium leather, they use the premium soles, the premium construction. And if you guys haven't been to Thursday Boots in a while, guys, you gotta hit that link and check them out. They recently have launched some new styles, some new leather colors that you are absolutely gonna love. But those jackets, I'm telling you, those jackets are perfection. Guys, hit the link down down below and check out Thursday Boots. They always sell out of the popular styles and the popular colors. Guys, do not wait. If you are ready to upgrade and elevate your boot game for fall, now is the time. Hit the link down below. You're gonna be wearing these bad boys for years. The fourth shoe that you should never wear with jeans are boat shoes, all right? Now, boat shoes, I don't love them, honestly. I don't really like them. I think there's so many other better alternatives out there, but I know that a lot of you guys are like, yo, I dig boat shoes, I wear boat shoes. If you must wear boat shoes, I mean must, like you got to, like you're like, yo, it's the only shoes I have, Alpha. Like, I don't have money to buy anything else. Like, that's it. Okay, then wear boat shoes. But, in my opinion, you should be wearing them with a lightweight cotton pant, like chinos. They look a lot better with chinos because of the casual nature of the shoes, also the casual nature of a cotton pant. Also, shorts. If you must, rock them with shorts, but never rock them with socks. The fifth shoe that you should never wear with denim are mandals, man sandals. Not only are they a little bit funky in terms of looks, they just don't look great with jeans. Instead, if you must wear them, and I mean, and I mean, once I mean must, then I would recommend wearing them with shorts, but never wear them with jeans. Now, in terms of flip flops with jeans, I could go either way on this. I have seen it look good. I've also seen it look like pretty bad. All right, so a few little flip flop wearing rules. If your flip flops are two sizes too big for your feet, they look horrible. If they're too small and your toes are like hanging over and like clawing the top, they look terrible. If your toes are all nasty and crusty and calloused and funky and green and discolored and nasty and your nails are super long, they look terrible. But if your toes are height, sometimes denim and flip flops, especially at the beach, look awesome. And last but certainly not least, the six shoe you should never wear with jeans or anything that is dirty, nasty, scuffed, discolored, not to mention the laces if they're all crazy and crazy and like crazy, you shouldn't wear them. Here's the deal, gentlemen, if you want to look the best you can possibly look in your jeans, the shoe's got to be straight. And straight means the style, but also the cleanliness. The Magic Eraser is amazing for keeping your shoes along with the soles of your shoes super clean. You can find them in pretty much any grocery store. 
your boots and shoes, guys, you also got to make sure they're not all scuffed up and beat up. They sell things like this, right? A little sponge that actually has a little bit of polish on it. And all you do is rub it over top of the scuffs and it will gently take them out and polish the shoe. Now, this is great for like quick jobs, but if you really want to take it to the next level and make sure those shoes are looking the best they can, what I'd recommend is actually have proper polish. Learn to polish your shoes. It's actually a little bit therapeutic and it's kind of fun. And when you're done, the shoes look amazing, making you and your banging booty look even better.